So fourth graders, we've been talking a lot about mixed numbers and decimals and fractions and how we can express them in different ways. Today we're going to express them in even more kinds of ways. We're going to be expressing mixed numbers in number lines, using number lines, using number disks, and using expanded form. Okay. Let's first talk about the problem of the day. So sometimes when I'm um, reading the problem, I like to actually just start to circle what I think is going to be important information. Four pieces of salmon, and all together they weighed two kilograms. One piece weighed four and ten, four tenths of a kilogram, sorry, and two of the other pieces weighed five tenths of a kilograms each. What was the weight of the fourth piece of salmon? So if we draw a picture, we know that all together there were four pieces of salmon, and all two pieces weighed two kilograms. I mean, sorry, all four pieces weighed two kilograms altogether. The first piece weighed four tenths of a kilogram. The next piece weighed 5 tenths, and the next piece also weighed 5 tenths. We're trying to find out how much that last piece cost. So we could add up 4 tenths plus 5 tenths plus 5 tenths, and then subtract it from 2 and get the answer, right? Does anyone see anything we could do first to kind of help us out to make it a little bit easier? Kaship? 5 tenths times 2. I see right here 5 tenths times 2. What do, what do we know that equals? 1 kilogram, right? Which means that 4 tenths plus this month must also equal one kilogram. So you just have to think to yourself, four tenths plus what will equal one kilogram? Everyone? So the answer is six tenths of a kilogram. So always look for patterns like that to help you out. Okay? Good. Okay. This is not in your uh, book. I took other problems that are going to be similar to your problem set. Okay? Now, when there's a lot of drawing like this, you don't need to draw all of it. Okay? I'm just going to show you. Okay, the directions say to circle groups of tenths to make as many ones as possible. How many tenths does it take to make one one? Everyone? Ten tenths. So you can see here that I have ten tenths. So I'm going to circle them because I know that that equals one. Right? How many tenths are there in all? If In the red circle, that's ten. And then there's one, two, three, four. How many tenths are there in all? Everyone? Okay, so when you see these kinds of problems, you will write that they're like, how many tenths there are in all. You just answer the question. Then we see the arrow there, so we're going to go over here. It says draw the same number using ones and tenths. So if I have two kinds of disks now, I have ones disks and I have tenths disks, how many ones disks should I draw? One, because ten tenths equals one. And then these four tenths disks, I would still write them as 0 0.1, ooh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. How could I write this number using decimal form? Well, it'd be 1.4. How much more is needed to get to 2? Anshul? 0 0.6 or 6 tenths because I would have to add 6 more tenths disks in order to make one more whole. Does that make sense? So we're basically just using number disks to draw out place value. So these are examples of how we can use number disks to represent mixed numbers. How would I write this using fraction form? It would be 2 and 8 over 10. Very good. Then it says to write each number using fraction expanded form and decimal expanded form. Let me show you what that means. We see we have 3 tenths. There's the 3 tenths. So in fraction expanded form, we have 3 times 10. In decimal expanded form, we have 3 times 10. So far it's the same because they're whole numbers. Then we have 4 ones. Here's the 4 ones using number disks. Using the fraction expanded form, we have 4 times 1. Using the decimal expanded form, we have three, 4 times 1, because again, it's a whole number. Okay. Then it says to add 3 tenths. There's my 3 tenths for number disks. Using a fraction expanded form, it's 3 copies of how many tenths? 1 tenth. It's called fraction expanded form because the 1 tenth is written in a fraction form. Then for decimal, we have 3 times 1 tenth. You can see altogether that equals three tens or thirty, four ones or four, and three tenths written as a fraction if in fraction expanded form, or three tenths written in decimal in decimal expanded form. Okay. One thing I want you to notice is for both expanded forms, the different parts needed to be added up. If you just write the parentheses part, oh, and by the way, the answer is also there. Okay. If you just write the parentheses part, you just have ten. And then you have four. And then you have three tenths. Those are separate. In order to combine them, we have to add them. 
Does that make sense? Okay, let's try this in our notebooks. We've almost covered everything in our learning goal. Our learning goal says we can use number disks and expanded form, but it also says we can use number lines. Okay, so here you can see you have a chart where it gives you um, a number line. There's one column for number line, one column for decimal form, one column for mixed number, which is ones and fractions form, one for expanded form, you can choose fraction or decimal, and then how much it's going to take to get to the next one. So let's take a look at the first problem. Do we know what to put on the number line yet? No. Do we know what to put for decimal form? It's blank. Oh, but it does give us a mixed number. So we have four and six tenths. So right away we can write in the decimal form. How would I write four and six tenths using decimal form? Anshul? 4.6. Very good. So that means that for my number line, my first 4.6 is going to be in between which two whole numbers? Yes. Four so my whole numbers are going to have 4 here and I'm going to have 5 here. I'm pretty sure these are divided into tenths. Let's, let me check though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is it divided into tenths? So 4.6 would be 4.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right here. 4 and 6 tenths. Do you guys, does that make sense? Okay, let's see on that chart what else we have to do. We have to write it using expanded form, using fractions or decimals. What's our biggest place value units? Do I have tens? Do I have ones? How many ones do I have? So I write 4 times 1 plus, what's my next place value? Sanvi? Okay, I have tenths. How many tenths do I have? Six. So using expanded form, it's four times one plus six times one tenth. Could I also write six times zero point one if I want to use decimal form? Okay. Um, how much does it? How much do I need to get to the next one? Since I use fraction form, I'll use write it in fractions. Varshini. Four tenths more to get to my next one. 